What's going on everybody? It's officially prep time, all right? Now, I'm still a ways away from the competition that I'm planning on doing. I've got a couple in mind, but we're starting this season out with a new coach. So we're technically still gonna be in probably a calorie surplus for these first few weeks. Not a ton has changed with the diet, but I'm gonna be sending check-ins. He's giving me a structured plan and uh, it just gives us more time for him to learn my body and learn my metabolism and figure everything out before we go directly into a deep cut. So I got a lot of questions on my last video with my last cheat meal um, asking if they, you know, you thought I had had such a short off season, which guys, it really was not that short of off season. My last competition was in July, like 4th of July weekend, all right? It's been a good while, all right? I was in a calorie surplus ever since then. And maybe I took a good long health phase and uh, wasn't pushing any, you know, super supplements, but I was still in a calorie surplus. I was still training my ass off. So we were still pushing super hard. I just, you know, wasn't pushing the other stuff hard. Anyways, I know everybody has asked me a million times who my coach was going to be this year. Honestly, I hadn't made a decision, but I know a lot of you that follow me on Instagram and have seen once or twice on YouTube here, me training over at the dump um, at, with Cement Factory. So I am good friends with AJ and we talked about it and it just makes sense. We're gonna give this uh, give this a go and give it all we have. So AJ Sims is gonna be the coach and he's already given me my plan to get started. Like I said, not a ton changed in the diet, but I'm excited to get going. He is, uh, it's a different approach than I'm used to, which I'm excited for. I was also kind of like, you know, anxious a little bit because it's something different. I've only ever had one coach. Chris Aceto is the only coach I've ever had and he's an amazing coach. You know, we made tons of progress to together. I learned a ton from him, but I just want to try something new, you know? Um, and it honestly doesn't have anything to do with the fact that we didn't bring my best package last year. We didn't peak right. Um, Cause you know, no matter how great the coach is, things happen, you know, it's not gonna be perfect every time. But I just figured at this stage of my career, um, trying something new could be beneficial to me as an athlete, but also as a coach myself, learning somebody else's progress, uh, process and how things are done with other people, you know, just gives me more knowledge to help my clients as well. So, all right, that's that. I'm freaking starving, by the way. I've already been at the gym training clients. Um, we are starting right off the bat with 25 minutes of fasted cardio five times a week, plus fasted abs. So, gotta have that in as well. And on to meal one, because I'm freaking starving. I'll explain more about everything after this, but I'm just really hungry. So, starting the day, 50 grams of whey protein. Three slices of low fat bread, basically just anything that's less than uh, one gram of fat per slice or less. So it's nothing special. It's Pepperidge Farm bread, hearty white. It's delicious. It's not any kind of crazy specialty bread. 25 grams of all natural peanut butter and 20 grams of honey. I was basically already eating this except I was doing 40 grams of peanut butter and 40 grams of honey. So he cut those back a bit. Um, the biggest thing is he did cut my fats back a lot, but that's because that's typically, you know, we talked about it and I'm like, that's been my approach the past few years. So let's see how my body responds um, by lowering the fats a little bit. Still a lot more fats than I would have when I was with Aceto. Basically with a Chris Aceto, the only fats I got was through eggs, salmon, beef, like there were no added fats. You never added oils. You never added peanut butter. You never added uh, 
you know, avocado, which I hate avocado anyway, so uh, I'm glad we didn't have that. But no, no nut butters, no nuts, no, um, you know, extra virgin olive oil or macadamia nut oil. So we do have that stuff in there now, um, which I like because my body works well off of fats, not just pushing super, super high carbs. You know, I work better with some fats in my system. So I'm rambling again. All right, so I'm gonna shut up and eat. When I had more peanut butter and more honey, I was doing like a triple decker sandwich, but with only 25 grams of peanut butter and 20 grams of honey, it just makes sense to go with just a normal sandwich and then a slice of toast. So that's what I'm doing. Meal one, 50 grams away, three bed, blah, blah, blah. 50 grams away, three bread, 25 gra uh, grams of peanut butter, 20 grams of honey. I'm gonna get this down, shut up, because I'm just repeating myself and rambling now. And I will show you meal two and answer a few more questions that I've been getting asked. All right, time for meal two. And it's very similar to what I was already doing, just a little different proportions of things. So we've got chicken breast, five ounces. Previously, I was only doing three. Uh, a little bit of green bell peppers diced up in there as well. And two whole eggs, all right? I was doing three whole eggs. And two packets of low sugar oats. And I was doing three packets. So a little smaller, uh, a little higher protein, less fat, less carbs. But, oops, I made a mess. Um, but overall, not very different from what I was already doing. And that's something I always like uh, with, to do with my clients as well. And I love it whenever a coach will do that for me. That's Aceto did very similar as far as you know, if you already have a pretty structured plan in the off season, even if you're enjoying some cheats here and there or whatever, but you, for the most part, have a pretty structured plan. There's no reason to 180 completely change everything just because you're starting prep. Make subtle changes to get the process rolling. And then if you have to make a few bigger changes later on, that's fine. But there's no reason to change everything right off the bat. So subtle changes, tighten things up a bit, cut the junk out, and uh, it's an easy transition that way. You're not struggling to make the transition from off season to prep or anything like that. But anyways, I'm gonna get this down before it gets cold. We got two more meals and it's leg day. So two more meals and then uh, we train he also did change, not should not change my training, but he just added something here and there uh, to give me a little more volume on this or that. So my quad focus leg day is still my quad fo focus leg day, but then we do add in like a brutal set of hamstrings at the very end. And then my hamstring leg workout, we're gonna add a brutal, brutal set of quads at the end of the hamstring leg workout. And then my second back day is now gonna be arms and shoulders instead of back. So if I do wanna add a little bit of extra volume to my lats like I have been doing, I might do that after the hamstring workout if I have the energy. But it's all about recovery. So I'm gonna be eating a little less calories I want to make sure my recovery is optimal and I'm fully recovered, building muscle still. And two back days and two leg days is a lot. Like those are the two largest muscle groups in the body. And that is a lot to recover from if you're smashing both of those twice a week. So my back, I think has made a lot of improvements this off season. And you know, I still gonna destroy, absolutely destroy back on my normal back days. So, uh, little arms and shoulders, I'm not gonna lie, I've been slacking off on them. I put up a, a video not too long ago of an arms and shoulders workout, but that's been like, you know, rare throughout this entire off season. So, you know, I, I'm okay with that. You can never have too big arms and shoulders in bodybuilding. So, we're gonna smash it, give this a try, and uh, I'm excited to see the results. I'm gonna get this meal down, 
And then I will see you in meal three. Another part of my new plan is coach wants me taking three 10 minute walks per day after meals. So Broly here is gonna get his exercise too. Plenty of walks for both of us. He wants me to have about, come on buddy. <laughs> I always find it something to sniff at. But he wants me to have about 9,000 steps per day is the goal. So we're gonna get some walks in, me and bro. All right, meal three, just got back oh, about half, 45 minutes ago from taking Broly on a walk because, as I mentioned, that is part of the new plan is uh, coach wants me to go on about three 10 minute walks a day, uh, wants me to average or total around nine or yeah, around uh, 9,000 steps per day. So that's not that difficult. I get a lot of walking in first thing in the morning, usually training clients and, uh, you know, if I walk the bridge or something like that outside of the gym, which it's been cold the past few mornings, but it's starting to warm back up. So probably start walking the bridge again. And usually when I walk the bridge, that's, you know, start my day off with like four or 5,000 steps right there. So Broly will enjoy it. He'll get at least uh, two walks a day from me, possibly one from Ashley if she's not too exhausted from work. But, uh, so, he's gonna love it. And honestly, it feels good just to get out and get moving. You know, I'm busy working on the computer or doing client check-ins and stuff like that. So to take that 10 minute break, just clear my head, walk around the neighborhood for a bit. It's actually pretty nice. So anyways, meal three. Uh, about as basic as it gets, but we got seven ounces of chicken 200 grams of jasmine rice and 10 grams of extra virgin olive oil and then i'm just gonna throw a little bit of frank's red hot hot sauce on there and some himalayan pink salt and we're good to go um like i said about as basic as it gets Meal four is exactly the same as this, except I also get 80 grams of banana. So, and that'll be my pre-workout meal. Also, <laughs> one last thing. Um, he just sent me this plan yesterday and what he forgot to put on, he gave me a base meal plan and a high day meal plan, like a high carb day meal plan but he forgot to put on there which days will be high days and which days will be base days. So I texted him this morning and asked, but before he got back to me, I had, it was already two meals in. So I just, in my head, I'm like, well, it's safer to just go on a base day. And uh, then he texted me back and he sent me the, he's like, oh, I thought I added that. He forgot to put it on the email. So he just texted me the plan and today was supposed to be a high day. So. Oh well, I'm just gonna stick with the base day since we're already halfway through the day. And I will show you the high day plan next time. Um, but I get high days right now on my back workout, uh, which is two days ago, and my quad focus leg workout, which is today. So those will be my high days as of right now, except for I'm just starting the plan and I already screwed it up. <laughs> so. Um, it'll be all right. My metabolism will be freaking fired up because I'm probably going to be starving, uh, just by cutting out any little junk snacks I was having and being on a strict plan. And, uh, it is a little less calories than I was eating. So, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna be hungry as hell. And then next week I'll enjoy those couple of high days. But anyways, I'm gonna get this meal down and, uh, then meal four, and then gym time. All right, meal four, like I said earlier, same as meal three, 200 grams rice, seven ounces of chicken, 10 grams of extra virgin olive oil, except this time I also get 80 grams of this banana. So simple, gonna get it down, and this is my pre-workout meal. All right, it is 
workout time. So finishing up my pre-workout, which is one scoop of VasoMax, one scoop of HyperMax from Performax, um, which another announcement there, I am officially a sponsored athlete with Performix. So if you want to try some amazing supplements and support me also, uh, go try them out. I'll put the link in the bio. You can use code BROKU20 to save 20% off of everything you order. We got a lot of new products coming out. Um, so keep an eye. There's going to be some good stuff. I'll be showing them as they come out. But for now, this is what I'm using today. And then also got my full uh, amino acids, essential amino acids, all your BCAs, everything. Along with, I do have 25 grams of carbs in that as well. So, and five grams of creatine. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna go work out now and I'll show you post-workout meal and then one final more meal after that. All right, workout is done. Crazy quad pump and hamstring pump. Even though it's a quad focused leg workout, coach added that uh, FST7 set of hamstrings at the end of the workout, and that was brutal. So, good workout though. It's awesome pump. Gotta make them quads grow. That is still the goal throughout this process because I know that is an area I still need to bring up. Um, I think. I'll never be satisfied with those. Anyway, post-workout meal, all right? Got 50 grams of whey protein. And the plan actually said uh, three packets of plain grits or equivalent macros in uh, cream of rice or low sugar oats. Um, post-workout, I don't feel like oats are my, would be my choice because they will digest slower and I want something that's going to digest faster. Um, I'll probably switch to cream of rice, but if you've been following along, you know, in the off season for a while, I was doing a lot of grits. So I already had this in the pantry and about one and a half servings equals about three packets of the grits. So it's about 60 carbs out of that. And then we also get 20 grams of honey, which is uh, an odd mixture. Normally if I have grits, I want them savory, you know, but uh, we're having honey in our grits. So we'll see how that tastes. I mean, honey's delicious. I can't imagine it's bad, it's just odd. So, you know, another 20 grams, you know, that'll be almost 20 grams of carbs from the honey, about 17 grams. So you're getting close to 80 carbs here, 50 grams of protein. I'm gonna get this down, I'm gonna shut up, cause it's later than I would like to be eating and I still have one more meal after this. And then I gotta be up at 5.30 in the morning. So I'm gonna shut up, eat, I'll show you my last meal before I pass out. Whew. All right, y'all, last meal, later than I would like, but it is what it is, uh, I'm exhausted ready to pass out. So I'm gonna wolf this down, take a shower, and hit the sack. We got eight ounces of lean steak with 250 grams of potatoes. And I also, with this meal, have my greens from uh, Performax, which this is a stacked formula right here. Not only does it have all your greens and everything like that, your micronutrients from all the greens, but it also has liver support, blood pressure support, cholesterol support, and gut health support. So that is a freaking amazing product. Probably one of my favorite products for them. I love the pre-workout, the aminos, the pump, all of that. The, they have a glucose disposal agent. Like The protein's coming this month, I believe. And then there will be a carb powder as well. Those are on the way, but this, my health is everything. Longevity in this sport, so this is awesome. Anyways, like I said, gonna wolf this down and hit the sack. Also, like I said earlier, this was supposed to be a high carb day and I didn't realize it until we were on meal three. So we stuck with the base plan. Next time I'll show you the high day, which after that leg workout, I wish I had been on it, but 
it's all good. We're just getting started. I'm not depleted or anything yet. So I'm still feeling good. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna shut up now and get this down because it's been a long day and I gotta be up at 5.30 in the morning. And it's already 10.30. So good night. I'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned. Like I said, we're just getting started.